my goodness, almost. Hmm. Okay. Uh, we're going to call this Crybaby Heaven. The Filipinos that are coming into my scopes are a bunch of crybabies. Now, do I think that the Dimash fans are just as the same way? Yeah, I do. I think that I think if Dimash was to lose, they'd freak out as well. So, um, I, but I wouldn't do what they're doing. I wouldn't go into other people's um, posts, um, YouTube uh, posts, and I wouldn't be uh, um, showing my anger. Uh, they're, that's what they're doing. They're all. They're giving me negative marks and everything like that. They're just showing me their anger. Like, the, mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> um, but I wouldn't be going into pro YouTubers that of uh, the TNT boys. I wouldn't do that. This is this is kind of like liberalism. <laughs> this is what I try to tell people. It's kind of like liberalism, All right? Like little fascist groups, <laughs> little echo chambers. Okay. I told people if Dimash didn't win. Don't worry about it. Don't freak out. Okay. But I'm getting things like Dimash can only hit high notes, which means they don't listen to his stuff. Um, and I understand that TNT are still the world's best. Okay, if you like them. I understand. You're, you're going to like them. You're pro-Filipino. Here's the thing, though. Over 90, over 90 something percent of the people in my that made negative com comments were all Filipino. Okay? And they're like, well, TNT boys are going to be more popular. It's all about entertainment. No, it isn't all about entertainment. And if it is about all entertainment, they were boring yesterday. They were boring. So if it's all about entertainment, the adults, the adults were better. Okay. I just were. Um, but I grant you, there were, are a lot of people that were had that those feelings, the same as me, that were in that the wall of the world. Get these little shits out of there, because they are. How many? How many of these people that are judges get to see their behavior? offset like oh there's those little shits acting up again how many okay um they may have shown their true colors who knows i don't know but i find it interesting that two-thirds of the people voted it was like ah oh, gotta get these people out of here okay did i mean you get to see everything you get everything in my post. You go, go take a look at it. <clears throat> it was like Filipino hell in my scope. I, I said uh, TNT boys get uh, over get run overrun or whatnot. I had more people come in and just and they were all Filipino, all of them. Um, the difference is another thing is ninety percent of Dimash fans are not Kajak, but the Filipinos. They're all crazy about the TNT boys. The rest of the world thinks they're talented. I mean, as much as everyone else is trying to shove that crap down our throat, TNT boys, TNT boys. Everyone's like, mm, yeah, okay. All right. But they're not, you don't have to shove Dimash down my throat. All you have to do is introduce Dimash to me. That's it. That is it. I introduced uh, Dimash to several of my friends, and they'll tell you the same thing. It's like, I can't stop watching the guy. Yeah? See, I watched a couple of the videos from TNT Boys about a month or two ago. Done. Done. I was, the second I saw them prancing around the little the dresses and whatnot, I'm like, in little girly outfits, I'm like, mm, stop. 
All right. And uh, then I, I saw that they did it in guys. So I watched a few and I was like, they're talented, but. Um, yeah. I said, yeah. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't impressed. I was like, yeah, they're talented. They're, they're, they're talented. I'm not going to, and I told the Filipinos that. I said, one, you should be proud of your, of your, uh, you know, your country. You should be proud of people from your country. It's called nationalism. This is what bothers me is when people say that nationalism, okay, you know, is, <laughs> is like uh, Nazism. No, you should be proud of your countrymen. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay? Okay? There is a certain bias there. Okay? But that doesn't mean they were the best. And it doesn't mean that everyone liked them. That's a good lesson to learn. Just because you're the best doesn't mean that people have to like you. Okay? I'm going to tell you an example of that. There was a great baseball player. He was the best. Barry Bonds. Back about 15 years ago, he retired. Or 16, yeah, whatever. But back in like 2000 to 2003, 2000, the guy was unbeatable. You couldn't throw a baseball past that guy without him hitting it out of the ballpark. But we all knew he cheated. We all knew that jackass cheated. Okay? He took human growth hormones and that... That made everything in his body bigger, but it also improved his eyesight tremendously. And people are like, well, that's not cheating. I said, I said, really? You improve somebody's eyesight for the game of baseball? You're saying that? That doesn't... I said, it's everything. It's everything. So. So. Um. There was a point where people said that he could actually see the lettering on the ball. I was like, oh, my God. I was like, so it's just proven. And I, I actually lived in San Francisco at that, that time. And I can't tell you how many people, they didn't care. They are like, Barry Bond. I said, you guys. Ugh. Barry, Barry Bond. Oh. Yeah. And uh, they did the same thing. There is a certain bias. I believe Walter Payton is the greatest running back. One of them, anyway. But he's my favorite. I'm, ad but I I'm willing to admit there are better running backs out there than Walter Payton. He was just my favorite. He was a Chicago Bear. I'm from Chicago. I grew up watching Walter Payton. He was my favorite. I love Michael Jordan. He was a Chicago Bull. Okay? He's my favorite. Okay? He's my personal favorite. Now, I'm willing to not think there is anyone that's better than Michael Jordan. Not even Kobe Bryant or LeBron James. <laughs> Nobody's better than Michael Jordan. Um, and, I, and that's not me being biased. That's just watching them. <clears throat> but... What I'm saying is, it's okay to have that bias. But you have to... You have to do a couple things. If you're... Um, and I, This is one of the things I really do hope from Dimash fans. Okay, I, First of all, I hope he wins. But if he doesn't, don't go, be lo don't go around looking for excuses. Just don't do it. Don't do it. It's fixed... Oh my God! Um, they're just after Dimash. Stop it. Okay. Do not be like the followers of the TNT boys. Do not. Do not show that rudeness. Okay. Of the reason I don't like the TNT boys to begin with, but the Filipinos just went down a huge peg in my book. Because of uh, of the way they are treating me on my on my particular YouTube channel, okay, don't do it. 
congr- if it was the case, it's like, you know, I don't agree with the decision, but congratulations to, uh, congratulations to ABC Group who, who beat whatever. In other words, we can discuss it, but don't be sour grapes about it because it, he's going to end up, like I said, Dimash will end up being the most well-known out of everyone in there, including the TNT boys. The TNT boys are going to flame out. You're going to be like a big old flame. You see that flame? They're going to burn out as fast as they got there. Okay? Why do I I perceive that? There's a couple reasons. One, I can't stand them. I can't stand them. Two, they don't have their own songs. Three, the way they're being pushed around. They're being pushed around by the parents. Okay. Um, the kids aren't grown up to be real. And they're just gonna be snotty little adults, and they're and they've grown up thinking that everyone's got to give them stuff. Eventually, that group's gonna split up, and they're all gonna do their individual stuff. It'll just it'll fizzle out. <clears throat> it could be five years from now, ten years from now, who knows? But. Once one of once one of them decides to leave, who knows why? It could be because of money, it could be because of attention, whatever. But it'll fizzle out. Dimash's parents are are showing Dimash how to do this the right way. It's like they know they could send him out and he could be a billionaire already. They're like, slow it down. Now, they they're sending him to some of these contests as well. Okay. But they're allowing Dimash to grow up to be a, a good human. And one of the things I really enjoy is they're allowing him to interact with his fans and they just step back. Okay? And it's all a teaching lesson. So you know when Dimash is either in the car with his parents or at home, his parents talk to him. You know they do. They talk about how fans interact. They talk about things that you should expect, unexpected things. But they also teach them how to always act on it, always act knowing that these things are always on. So you never see him acting the fool like at an airport or something like that. Okay? They're teaching him. It's a teaching process. They taught him the right way to be a human being when he was a young kid. His grandparents did the same thing. And his love, which I don't see, by the way, from the TNT boys. For the TNT boys, all I feel is it's about me, 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 me. With with Dimash, he's humble, okay? And And with Dimash, you can see... He loves his country. It's more like a nation. Ex- it's almost like a <clears throat> he's out trying to show everyone that Kazakhstan's a great place to, and good things come out of Kazakhstan. Okay, it's a little different with Dimash, and he's not bragging that he's the best vocalist in the world. He could easily brag, but he doesn't. Okay, he doesn't, and it doesn't show in his personality. It oozes from the TNT boys. Okay, but let let me do this. Let me end this right here. First of all, I hope that D- Dimash does win. But if he doesn't, you have to promise me, Dimash fans, don't disgrace Dimash by being. Like the TNT fans. Don't be sour grapes. Don't be a bunch of little bitches going around blaming everybody in the world. Okay? Don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay? Show class just like he has. Show class just like Dimash has. Congratulate uh, the winner. You may sit there and say, I don't agree with it. 
But don't come up with justifications and reasons why he lost. Well, it was this song, or the judges were after him. Or, don't do it. Even if your heart, you believe it. Don't do it. Show class. Okay? All right. This is a lesson. You see all the little TNT fans doing this crap. I don't want to see Dimash fans do it. That being said, I still hope he kicks everyone's ass and wins. Peace out.